Actress Renee Zellweger may have grown up in Texas, but over time she's owned stunning properties from LA to Connecticut and even the Hamptons. While she once lived in a couple of Hollywood area mansions, Renee realized it just wasn't for her and set her sights on historic East Coast properties instead. In this video, we'll take a look at where she calls home. We even found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Renee Zellweger is an actress who's been a staple on movie and TV screens for decades, it seems. She's won plenty of awards and was one of the world's highest paid actresses by 2007. These days, her success in the industry has earned her an impressive net worth of about $90 million and a pretty charming real estate portfolio. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this one looking at the homes of actress Renee Zellweger. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. And now, let's get into this video. You may or may not know this, but Renee isn't too fond of the Hollywood glitz and glamour despite being a famous actress. In fact, she left that lifestyle behind for nearly a decade, taking time away from it all to recharge. That may be one of the major reasons that many of the properties she's owned have been located in remote or secluded places around the US, mostly on the East Coast. At one point, Renee did own a couple of homes in California before she realized it wasn't her cup of tea. In 2002, Renee moved from a $1.8 million abode in the Hollywood Hills to a larger home in the Bel Air neighborhood, which cost her $6.8 million. This pad was built in 1937 and boasted six bedrooms, eight baths, and features like a gym, library, guest house, and more. Renee only stayed at this spot for a year before selling it to Deborah Messing in 2003 for $7 million. While Renee didn't buy up more real estate in LA, since that she has been spending a lot of time in California with her new man Ann Anstead who lives in Laguna Beach. It was even reported that Renee moved some of her belongings into his home recently, so it appears she's spending more and more time on the west coast with him. When Renee was done with Hollywood, at least at the time, she headed to Connecticut and purchased a beautiful country home in 2004. This getaway is located on 38 acres of woodlands, open fields, and gardens in the Pomfret Center of Connecticut. Renee had listed the home in the past at one point for $1.6 million, and as you might expect, that while this is a rustic home, it's certainly far from roughing it. The luxury farmhouse was built in 1770, so it has a ton of history, but it was updated with modern amenities and more in 2004 at the same time Renee snagged it. This stunning and serene property overlooks the Quinnebog River in a rural and private location, while the house itself spends 3,463 square feet of space inside. Apparently, Renee snagged her pomfret retreat for $1.3 million and the three-story colonial home spans three levels with three bedrooms, 2.5 baths, and charming add-ons like a bread oven in the family room. As you would expect from a country home, while it has been updated, it still maintains the original architecture and old-fashioned vibe, including exposed beams and seven fireplaces throughout. The open country kitchen offers granite countertops and stainless steel appliances, while white paints and cabinets make the room look super bright and welcoming. Renee has her pick of cozy living spaces here, including a family room featuring a built-in brick fireplace and bread oven for when the baking mood strikes, as well as an additional den or media room. There are vintage wide plank wood floors throughout the common areas, starting at the entry hall, and on this level, there's also a formal dining room with fireplace and antique crystal chandelier. Another warm space is the nearby wood paneled library, which boasts yet another fireplace and floor to ceiling bookshelves. Renee's master suite here has vaulted ceilings with heavy exposed beams, as well as a private ensuite bath with an extensive set of walk in closets. The actress renovated the property's structures as well since she moved in while keeping them antique, which include the main house, a separate guest house, and a fully detached 2,000 square foot barn. The guest house here offers a living room, bedroom, full bath, and kitchenette, while the barn was repurposed into an airy recreation pavilion with soaring wood ceiling, hardwood flooring, and a wood stove. Off of Renee's main house, there's a sunny porch or sun room with pitched ceiling that looks out past the trees, and on the grounds beyond that, there's also a swimming pool. 
She went on to further update the property by adding floral gardens, romantic terraces, and stone walls. The last time Renee put the home on the market was back in 2014, but after a couple of price adjustments, she delisted it and it looks like she decided to keep her Connecticut retreat after all. In 2014, another one of Renee's properties popped up on the market, but this one actually ended up selling for $4.65 million. Located in East Hampton, New York, the actress purchased the desirable property for $2.15 million back in 2003. Historic home was located on an exclusive street and the value of the place just kept on increasing. So much so that a bidding war went down when she put it up for sale. Built in the 1900s, Renee's former farmhouse spanned 2,000 square feet of space with four bedrooms and three bathrooms. The home may have been modest in some ways, but it had all the amenities you could ask for and had been renovated and kept up to date with modern comforts. Among the new additions on the property, there was a heated gunite swimming pool. While the property was gated in private, it was still only a short walk away from the ocean and the shops in downtown East Hampton, as well as just a mile up from the famous Maidstone Club. The grounds spanned nearly an acre of land and other features included a two-car garage with a loft, a cozy farmer's porch, and a patio decorated with a trellis. Much like Renee's other home, many of the original design aspects were maintained at the East Hampton house, like the exposed brick, wooden shutters, and hardwood flooring. You might be surprised to see that inside this abode, it was bright and airy with plenty of white walls, such as the main living room, which also offered a brick fireplace, flat screen TV, and sunny windows. Nearby, there was a formal dining area with crystal chandelier and kitchen with stainless steel appliances. Renee's former Hamptons home also had a narrow center entry hall and cozy yet spacious bedrooms flooded with natural light. Back outside, Renee's picturesque property was full of sprawling green lawns, flagstone style walkways and shaded terraces, while the in-ground pool was installed a bit further out from the home. As unique as this historic estate was, putting it up for sale was a good move for Renee as she made more than she expected. So now we've taken a look at Renee Zellweger's properties, including her country retreat in Connecticut and her former East Hamptons home. She also previously owned a complex of apartment units in New York City, but she sold them in 2011 for $7.4 million and, as I mentioned, unloaded her LA properties years ago too. Considering her relationship with Anne Anstead is moving forward, Renee may be spending more and more time in Los Angeles these days. She was even reportedly spotted moving some of her things into Anne's Laguna Beach abode for good, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. But out of Renee's historic homes, which was your favorite? I love her Connecticut one the most by far. It was super beautiful and spacious as well. Be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about her homes down in the comments. That's it for this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and I will see you all next time. Bye!